What happened to the twelve disciples after Jesus Christ left? 12. Peter. Also known as Simon, Simon Peter and Cephas Peter was the leader of the twelve disciples. He came from the ancient fishing village of Bethsaida along the northern shore of the Sea of Galilee. The Bible often portrays Peter as gentle but firm and extremely loyal to Jesus. When Jesus was arrested, Peter was afraid for his life, so he disowned him to avoid persecution. Peter was crucified around 66 AD in Rome under the persecution of Emperor Nero. There are all kinds of unverified traditions about his demise, most notably that he was crucified upside down because he didn't consider himself worthy to be executed the same way Jesus did. 11. James, son of Zebadi. Also known as James the Greater, James son of Zebedee was one of Jesus's main disciples and one of two apostles named James the Bible recounts how he and his brother and fellow disciple John asked Jesus if they should call down fire from heaven on a town that refused to show them hospitality. James was executed by sword at the hands of King Herod who most likely executed him. He is considered the first person to be slayed for Jesus. 10. John son of Zebedee. John, son of Zebedee was the third member of Jesus's inner circle of disciples and the brother of James the Greater. He is one of several apostles who were fishermen before they were called to Jesus. John is best known for a few key events mentioned in the Bible including when he took Jesus's mother, Mary into his home and cared for her. According to tradition John was exiled to the island of Patmos where he wrote the book of Revelation. He passed away in 98 AD from old age unlike many. Tradition says he ended his life ministering in the region around Ephesus in modern-day Turkey and is buried there. 9. Andrew. Andrew was a fisherman and the first disciple that Jesus called to serve him. Although he wasn't one of the three main disciples, he was known as one of the disciples more closely attached to Jesus. Andrew was a disciple of Jesus's cousin. John the Baptist. Andrew brought Peter to Jesus and told him that Jesus is the Messiah. Andrew traveled north, bringing the good news to what is now Russia and the western regions of the former Soviet Union. He later traveled through modern-day Turkey and Greece where he was martyred. 8. Philip the Apostle. Philip is only mentioned a handful of times in the New Testament. He's one of four men named Philip who are discussed throughout the Bible. Very little is known about Philip the Apostle, he was from the coastal town of Bethsaida on the Sea of Galilee. He's best known for bringing Nathaniel to Jesus. There are varying accounts of Philip's demise which likely happened around 80 AD, one claims that he passed away from natural causes while other records suggest that Philip was executed or crucified upside down. 7. Bartholomew. Not much is known about the Apostle Bartholomew other than his name. Bartholomew was apparently someone who loved to travel. Some accounts have him going to India with Thomas, then Armenia before heading along the trade routes between Ethiopia and the southern Arabian regions. While we are not sure how he met his end, tradition agrees that he was martyred for his faith. In some places he is listed as Nathaniel which could have been a family name or a name he was known by in the church. 6. Matthew. Also known as Levi, Matthew was a tax collector who collected money for Rome from fellow Jews in first century. This was one of the most criticized and disliked professions, it was seen as a form of betrayal that represented Rome's occupation of Israel. So when Jesus asked Matthew to be one of his disciples, it showed that God chooses all sorts of people to do his work. Matthew traveled to modern-day Iran and then down to Ethiopia, probably following established trade routes and preaching the gospel along the way. While some account do not include how he passed away, others say he was executed in Africa. 5. Thomas Thomas the Apostle isn't mentioned much in the Bible and the details of his life are conflicting and obscure, but he became well known for his skepticism during one particularly famous event that earned him the nickname Doubting Thomas. 
Although he doubted the resurrection at first, Thomas' faith in the risen Jesus was strong enough to send him traveling east to Syria and Iraq to preach the gospel, eventually ending up in India where the Mardhoma Christian tradition considers him to be their founder. The Mardhoma tradition says that Thomas passed away by being executed at the hands of four soldiers. 4. James, son of Alphaeus. In case you haven't noticed James was a popular name during biblical times, the Apostle James son of Alphaeus is only mentioned in the four lists of the Apostles. Meaning that only two things are known for sure about him, that his name was James and that his father's name was Alphaeus. James is believed to have preached in the regions north of Israel. A non-Christian historical account says that he was stoned and then clubbed to his last breath. 3. Jude. The Apostle Jude is known by several names including Jude of James, Judas of James Thaddeus, Judas Thaddeus, and Labias. Some people believe that he was Jesus' brother but there are no clear statements in the Bible about this being the case. Tradition holds that he preached the gospel in the area we could think of as northern Syria, Iraq, and Turkey. He was said to have been slayed by arrows in Turkey's mountainous northern region. 2. Simon the Zealot Simon the Zealot's name only appears in the four lists of the apostles. Nobody knows what his nickname, the Zealot, means. One possibility is that he was a member of a Jewish sect called the Zealots who were a revolution-seeking group in search of a messiah. Simon the Zealot was present during Jesus' first miracle when he turned water into wine. But it's now thought Simon preached in Egypt and there are conflicting stories about how he ended. Legend claims that Simon the Zealot was martyred in Persia in 65 AD. 1. Judas Iscariot the most infamous apostle was Judas Iscariot, even today his name is synonymous with the word traitor. At one time Judas was probably considered trustworthy, he was the designated treasurer for Jesus and the disciples. Jesus told his disciples at the Last Supper but he knew one of them was going to betray him. According to the Bible, Judas met with some priests and agreed to betray Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. He later approached Jesus while being followed by the armed mob who captured him and took him to be crucified, it is in this way that greed motivated Judas to do something that led to Jesus' demise. Judas instantly regretted and later committed self-immolation after betraying Jesus.